the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Big Cat Falls at the Philadelphia Zoo was recently named the best exhibit in the country. How about them apples? Hello again and thanks for joining us. I'm Jen Boyette and this is Comcast Newsmakers. And with me today is Vic Dewan. He is the president and CEO of the Philadelphia Zoo. And today we're talking about what's new this fall. Thanks so much for being with us today. Well, thank you so much for having me join you today. Sure. Congratulations to you on this Big Cat Falls. This is quite an honor because that's a newer exhibit. And I know a lot of time and money and energy went into putting it together in the first place. Well, we're very excited about that. To be able to have an exhibit that gets recognized by your peers across the country, this was an award that was given to us by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, which is our trade association. And they looked at several zoos, actually 12, that were the finalists. And among those, the Philadelphia Zoo got selected as the top exhibit of the year. So we were very, very excited about that. And when you combine that with the fact that we also have three new inhabitants at the exhibit uh, are three new Amur tiger cubs. It's been quite a, quite a fall for us, quite a year for us. Right. Now, were those cubs born at the zoo or did they come into the zoo? They were born at the zoo. Uh, they were born in May. Um, and <clears throat> in August, we were able to bring them out on exhibit and they have just been a huge draw. But they're growing very, very fast. They are adding about five pounds a week in weight and they're now almost 50 pounds each. And so they are becoming all tiger very quickly. Now, is that a rare breed of tiger, or is that a typical breed of tiger? Jen, that's a, a, a great question and something we spend a lot of time making sure that the, the guests at the Philadelphia Zoo know about, which is the conservation work that the Philadelphia Zoo does around the world. The Amur tiger is highly endangered. There are roughly 400 Amur tigers left in the world. And so we think it's a very, very important opportunity for people to see this magnificent animal, not only and learn about them, not only in the wild, but also to get a chance to see them at the zoo. So they were actually bred uh, at the Philadelphia Zoo. And uh, Kira, which is the mother tiger, this is her fourth litter. So she has produced 11 Amur tiger cubs. Quite a work for conservation, don't you think? It is indeed. That's fabulous. Now, are there, there are lions in the Big Cat Falls as well? They are. There are seven species of cats in the Big Cat uh, Falls, and those range from jaguars and lions, uh, cougars. Uh, we also have amur leopards. We have a new pair of jaguars, one from Belize and one from Guatemala. There's always a lot going on at the Philadelphia Zoo, and we're open year-round. It's a great opportunity for people to come and see not only an award-winning exhibit, but to get whisker close to these big cats. Right, up close and personal. That's Indeed. wonderful. Now, I know you were mentioning some events happening in the fall, but you also have just logistic things, too, like parking is different, some signs are different. We've been listening to our guests, and they've been telling us the things that work really well and the things that they hope that we can do better going forward. And one of the areas that they've told us over the years that we need to do better is parking. And so we put up new signs to make it easier to park. We put up uh, parking shuttles that get our guests from some of the remote lots into the front gate. And we've also streamlined the process by getting lights, the traffic lights that are timed and so forth, so you can get on and off the ramps much easier. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it allows people to get to the zoo and get to the experience quicker and really enjoy that much better. Right. Well, this is a good time to remind people that they can have seasonal passes and come again and again and again. It doesn't have to be a one-day event. Indeed. And they can also always go to our website at www.fullyzoo.org. We've recently upgraded our website, and boy, there's a lot of things for them to see on there. We hope they'll go there often. Right. And a little trivia fact people might not know, you're the oldest zoo in the nation. We are indeed. Uh, we were chartered in 1859, which makes us not only the, only the oldest zoo in the nation, but also the oldest zoo in the Western Hemisphere. And so uh, it's a very exciting time for us to be able to have that honor. Right. Other than the Big Cat Falls, what else is your zoo, the Philadelphia Zoo, known for? Well, we're certainly known for our rich history in terms of research with animals and animal care. We have an animal hospital that has four full-time vets on staff. We were the first zoo in the country to have that. And we're also the first zoo in the country to have a children's zoo. And so those are areas that are big parts of what makes the experience of the Philadelphia Zoo so important. Right. And a good time to check you guys out. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And thanks for watching. This hour's newsmaker has been Vic Dewan. He is the president and CEO of the Philadelphia Zoo. And I'm Jim Boyette for Newsmakers, an exclusive production of Comcast.